Hallo. Hallo, ja. Hi everyone and welcome to the Grilling of the Day. Sorry, the wedding of the day with Melissa. Um, I'd like to start by taking a moment just to mention how great everyone does look well. Everyone, especially me, look fantastic. Um, and it is a real pleasure for me to be doing what I'm about to do today. Um, like I said, everyone does look amazing, but it's only right that everyone is outshone by the beautiful phrase Melissa. Dave chose me to be his best man on the big day, and for that I am truly honoured, um, so thanks Dave. Um, the term best man does confuse me slightly though. If I am indeed the best man, why is not marrying you? <laughs> <laughs> so for the rest of the day I'm quite happy to be referred to as very good man or boober man. So the best man is of course Dave. Um, as, all you may, as, all, as you all may or may not know, I'm Dave's little brother. So it's quite obvious that our parents weren't happy with the first draft. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was really shocked when they agreed to this, so... Uh, He's got that on camera. <laughs> um, there was a lot of things I used to wind about with, and thinking back now, I can, yeah, I, I want to fit up with me doing the stuff I used to do. Whether it be whenever a camera was in my hand and I'd zoom in on a particular part of the <laughs> T-shirts and um, stealing these tip money from Jaquitos out of his little bum bag, stealing all the pounds and fifties and just leaving the coffers for uh, he, he did, he did, he did put up a lot of grief off my day over the years, but whenever I needed you as a big brother, you were right there for me and that's on board. So thank you very much. Oh, sorry, right here. Um, I remember when I was a lot younger, and I always used to think. I look forward to the day that I could go out with Dave and his friends. I used to see them going out to the stops and all that. When you, um, and I always asked if I could go, and it was never allowed. The moment I allowed it, but it, but it was Dave that said, no, hell no. Um, but anyway, the day finally came, Christmas Eve 2003. You know, here, um, so I'd, Dave had been 21, so I'd been 15, so I was quite young. Um, Mum gave uh, Dave the old look after his speech, don't let him drink too much, don't stay out too late. Man, I was only 15, so I only had, I think I had a couple. Um, and don't stay out too late and whatnot. But as it turns out, I should have been the recipient of that speech. Because I carried Dave home. <laughs> Dave and whiskey don't mix for Whiskey, sorry, not whiskey. Whiskey don't mix very well. I carried him home. Uh, I put him to his bed. I put a basin next to his bed. I sat there rubbing his back. <laughs> I may have been singing soft kitties in the bedroom. <laughs> um, and until he fell asleep, yeah. I'm still There's been a lot of things going through my mind as to what would be suitable to say on Best Man speech um, and what wouldn't be suitable, for example, Malia 2007. <laughs> now, <laughs> I can't I admit mean, it. I can't go into uh, too much detail because not only does it incriminate towards him, it incriminates me as well, but I'll let him off. Um, when I was asked to do this, the first thing that popped into my head was, of course, tag do. Um, he, looked, he did look beautiful last weekend, he did look really nice, like a cross piece of that Tim Burton movie in the Jewel Cup. Um, yeah, he did look really good. The weekend was ace, and I just wanted to take a moment as well to say thanks to the lads and everyone who came and made it really easy for me to organise. It was that easy, so thanks a lot to that, guys. Uh, things did run smoothly, mostly, that weekend, apart from the odd hiccup. Or in this guy's case, throw up. <laughs> so he touched on the floor, so he, he touched on the do uh, the dirt buggy so I'm gonna go to the go-karting part. So go-karting with a hangover is not wise, but trying to watch this guy take the helmet off before he's sick was <laughs> he could not get it off. He didn't even manage to in the end, which was a little bit going just yeah, just but he still missed the pin, so he went to do it. Alright, okay. Um, yeah, it was a great weekend. Um, Dave had a little quiz to do that weekend. 
entitled The 20 Shades of Melissa. Now, it's 20 questions about milk that Dave would know, should know, should know, sorry, yeah. Um, so not a lot of people know his score. So Dave Mel, do I have a guess? Out of 20? I'm <laughs> seven. You're all right. You got you got more than half. You got eleven and a half out of twenty, and I marked that a D. If you want to know what half is for, don't look at what Clara Mel's eyes did. <laughs> I could take three more brown on the night of the match. Yeah, that's what I Um, one of the questions on the quiz. Um, was when you and Mel started dating, where were you actually going when you told your work at the time? Um, sorry, I've just lost it there. Where were you actually going when you told your work that you had to leave early and take me to the hospital? Do you want to explain this? Or is that my room? Now, if you don't know how much trouble, I'm going to get the phone. <laughs> Dave was at work. I, I don't know what I was doing at the time, but um, they were just started dating and they were texting. And um, Mel sent Dave a naughty photo to entice him round to the house. <laughs> I don't really have it by the way. <laughs> That's what I'm going to think. I tried, but there's no way I was finding that was. Yeah. So, yeah, so he told work he had to take me to the hospital for the hour he was going to say that. Sorry, you asked me now, aren't you, bro? <laughs> Um, another question on the quiz: What embarrassing photo of Mel? Did, um, sorry, what embarrassing photo of you did, did Mel accidentally show mum and dad? What were you doing and what were you wearing? I can't repeat what he said on the night, but if everyone sees the envelopes on your table, you will see a picture. <laughs> <laughs> There's a cracker right in there. Look at this. As we found out before, they fire away soon. Now, um, I'm nearing the end, which I'm sure Dave will probably be happy about. Um, like I said before, I have got a lot on him, but we'll be sat here well into next week to go through it all. Um, as some of you know, back in 2007, when my dad in Victoria, um, I had me the speak to the little point that I made up about them. Now, I'm not doing that this time, unfortunately. I thought I'd rap instead. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm um, no, I've got something else, I'm going to have to keep it all waiting, so, um, yeah, so you'll have to just wait and see. For a long time, um, it's always just, it was always just me and Dave, we were more than just brothers, we were best friends, um, and we still are, even though the time we really despise each other, but I am to be here today, so I wasn't doing something right. Um, I was always jealous that I didn't have, a, 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 I was the baby, I didn't have a younger brother or a younger sister growing up with Dave, um, so that someone could give me grief or um, someone I could pack my wisdom on to. I say wisdom, I've not got a lot of that really. But, um, but then of course, we're blessed with Maisie Hope and Archie Bruce, so it was this. And basically where I'm leaving with this is I've got a big brother, I've got a little sister, I've got a little brother, and now I can officially say I've got a big sister. Yay. So, um, as the best man, I am supposed to offer some kind of insight into married life for the bride and groom. Now, never having been married myself, I'm not sure if I qualify to give such advice. Um, I will, however, say this to Mel. If Dave turns out to be half as, half as loyal, caring and supportive as a husband, as he has been a brother, you can look forward to a very long and very happy marriage. So everyone can be upstanding and raise your glasses, please. I wish you all the health, wealth and happiness in the world. Dave, my brother, some words of advice in the form of a wise old boy. To keep a marriage brimming with love in the loving cup. When you're wrong, admit it. And when you're right, show up. No time to remember
Thank you very much.